Kingdom City is a powerful, influential church pastored by Mark and Jemima Veragis. Preaching with them on an Asian tour, we began in Malaysia, preaching five times on a Sunday. People were hungry for the power of God, and God arrived there, and we were not let down. The miracles were outstanding. One particular miracle stays in my mind. A lady with terrible problems with her breathing was profoundly touched and began to gasp and take in air, unlike anything that had happened to her before. Now she was freely breathing and her reaction was absolutely thrilling. After ministering over there, we flew to Phnom Penh in Cambodia. We conducted teaching schools during the day, and these were a thrilling time. These students were hanging on every word, and when it came time to pray, they were wide open to be touched and empowered. They fell under the power of God on every side and wept and were changed. One young man from Botswana was very, very touched, so much so that out on the street witnessing, he found himself suddenly speaking in the Khmer language. At the end of our time in Phnom Penh, we traveled across to Singapore with Pastor Andrew and again had a remarkable time. He asked us, could you do a short training school in the afternoon? We conducted that for an hour or so before we caught our airplane and the Spirit of the Lord fell upon that group in a mighty way, just as it had during the meetings over in Phnom Penh. I remember a couple of the meetings in Phnom Penh that were so powerful that we just sat there as the glory filled the room. I was a young man back in 1975, fully aware of the horrors of the Pol Pot regime, where 1.7 million people were brutally killed. We felt during our time that it was important to take in some of the history, even though it was barbaric, concerning the killing fields and the horrors that occurred under Pol Pot. We firstly went to the S21 Genocide Museum, this place was truly, possibly the most horrible place I've ever been in my life. It's a schoolroom taken over by the Khmer Rouge and used as a place of torture and murder. As we entered the rooms where iron beds were placed upon which the victims were chained down and tortured with electric currents, with knives, with every conceivable thing of horror, it made us very, very aware that something had taken place in this country that was beyond belief. This place defies anything that a normal human being can understand. All around us here are pits filled with bodies, bodies just uh, smashed with the most horrible implements that you could imagine. And even over here, there's a lake and they threw the bodies in there. That lake is full of bodies. It's just to think of the number of people that were brutally murdered, many of them for just the innocent, innocent people, little children. And it breaks your heart, it cuts your heart out. It's a, a devastating place beyond anything you could imagine. This is probably the most awful thing I've seen here. This is a tree where they took little babies and swung their little bodies and crushed their skulls against this tree. Children, they smashed their skulls in this tree and they're buried over there. There's over a hundred buried behind it. Um, how can, I've been holding the little babies here. They're the sweetest, most gorgeous little things. How devilish, how demonic. What a coward is the devil that he would do this to little children and have people so insensitized that they can just do this. And some of the people doing it were just teenagers. Uh, it, it scares you the inhumanity of man and what can happen so easily and so quickly. This place is a reminder and it's a warning to everybody what can happen. 
and uh, let's stay hungry for God. Let's stay pressing into God and let's continue to see the goodness of God released everywhere we go. This place is hell itself. What a horrendous thing. And yet today, here is this beautiful group of people, this beautiful nation of people with a huge smile. Every family had been deeply affected by what took place, and yet they're joyous people, beautiful people. And God loves them so dearly. What a pain they've gone through, and yet how beautifully that nation is moving ahead. It was a time of reflection, and certainly a time that will stay with me the rest of my life. It was tough to leave the glorious time that we had had in Malaysia, Cambodia, and Singapore.